I don't make up. I actually did something today. And I filmed it. I feel cute. Um, but, so I filmed this makeup look. Well, not the look. But I filmed my base. And I must say, I think I did a pretty good job. So, stay tuned. Join the fan bam. Um, get me to 100 subscribers. I'm at like 66 right now. Um, also, check out my blog. I just unveiled my logo and I feel so proud of myself. I'm going to buy my domain soon. So, we're going to drop to WordPress.com and it's just going to be dosesofjays.com. So, <laughs> we leveling up. But, um, yes, I'm so proud of this look. It feels so bright and sunshiny and it's so good outside. So it's just cue the intro. <laughs> Let me lay a great time on you. Don't hesitate, no, don't you? Just say you will, will, will come through and chill, chill. chill. It's me, Jay, coming to you with another video. It's been about two weeks now. Obviously, I have braids in. My hair did revert back. Shout out to Haley, no heat damage, everybody, like, legit, go to that video, and then go find Haley, because she will bless your life. But today, I'm going to do, like, my flawless base for beginners, like, real simple, real easy, you know, yeah. So, basically, I already have my face primed, I use the Body Shop's Drops of Youth, because it's, like, similar to Frasali. But, like, just a little bit cheaper. And it has tea tree oil in it. And I love tea tree oil. And it's great for my combination skin. So, yeah, I did that prompt already. Then I spritzed my face with Makeup Revolution's Hyaluronic Setting Spray. Because, you know, we need moisture. Now I'm about to go in with uh, Can't Stop, Want Stop Foundation. And my shade is Sienna. So, It looks like that's a lot it looks hella weird just putting it on my face but it's gonna it's gonna match when i blend it out so for this part i had to concentrate and i couldn't really talk so basically i like to put my foundation on the back of my hand and warm it up and then put it on my face because to me once it's warm already it spreads evenly it's already my skin tone so i don't have to wait for it to like warm up to my skin tone and then it i already said it spread easily <laughs> so yeah and i like to basically use whatever's on my face and then if i feel like i need to go back in then i'll use what's on my hand and you know i'll put it in the little places that are missing the little gaps or whatever I think I'm going to talk about the brush, but if not, I use the e.l.f. powder brush. And yes, you can use it for foundation and now just powder. So, I already did my brows off camera. And I use Benefit Brow Contour pencil because it has everything I need. It has a definer, a light shade, a dark shade, and a highlight. I don't use the highlight. I don't use the dark shade. I use the definer and I use the lightest shade. Mainly because I got dark brown when I should have got dark light brown. So I finally just got my new color or well, my correct color. So I'm probably going to use it how you're supposed to now. But, yeah, because I don't really like really dark brows like that. Because my hair is red and I feel like it makes me look super awkward. With super dark brows. Okay, so my foundation is blended. She ready. I'm going to spritz my face. what I like to do to help everything melt or whatever and make it all seamless and I'm going to use 
some concealer. This is Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Now this one is in the color Caramel. It's a little too light for me, but I'll make it work. And I really don't need that much. So, I think that should be enough. Then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender that's wet. And then I'm going to start blending out my under eye concealer. So when you do concealer, you can either go one or two shades light and that's if you want like brightening two shades or if you want like a natural type of thing then you should go like a shade lighter than your foundation me I don't really care honestly if the concealer is good then I'm good sometimes I like to look really dramatic and like oh I've been awake all day but because I'm gonna go to work and I'm closing tonight and I'm kind of sleepy I'm going for the more like bright eye bushy tail type of under eye concealer situation so when you blend your concealer you could either blend with a sponge or you can blend with a brush. Either or. I like to blend with the sponge because it takes away just a little bit of the concealer that you put. So it's not OD. And it makes it look like skin. Like, look at this. I look awake, okay? I look alert here and ready. I don't know what the task is, but I'm ready for it, okay? Also, um, I don't, I used to use a beauty blender when I did my foundation, like when I spread it around my face, but I don't really like how that looks anymore. I don't know why, maybe because I'm older and I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. Like I know the shape of my face. I know what looks good, what doesn't look good together etc so i like using a flat top brush this is elf powder brush but i use it for a foundation so i like using a flat top brush and then anything else i do i use with my beauty blender so that um <laughs> it's seamless I like to reverse contour too. You don't have to, but it helps. And especially if you use like a darker foundation and you're like, okay, this is way too dark for my skin tone. Then that's when the lighter concealer will come into handy and reverse contour will come in handy too because it brings light to those areas that naturally draw in the light on your face look at that I didn't even contour yet actually when well, my cheeks are kind of low-key naturally snatched but I haven't been working out so they kind of like extra plump so I'm going to cream contour I never used to cream contour I used to only powder contour and I gotta wait hold on I don't want to put too much because if I put too much then I'll be looking at like somebody threw mud at me and <laughs> we don't want that okay it's not what we want it's not the life that we're trying to live so but I used to only powder contour and I mean that was cute for the time being because I was a little slammer but now I like to cream contour and also I powder contour because the only thing that I did was like reverse contour so I would put my concealer on first and then my foundation around the concealer and then I'm like oh I already 
basically carved out my cheeks. And my face is super highlighted, so just a little powder to keep it in place. I don't know, I might go back to that, honestly. Look at that. Look. <sighs> Hello, Naomi. Now, some people like to match their foundation to their chest, but my chest is lighter than my face. So, I like to match my foundation with my neck. That's just my personal preference. I don't have a big forehead, okay? So I don't need to contour my forehead like that. But I'm doing it just because. So then, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder to put some in the cap okay all right i got a little ambitious i'm gonna take the puff that it came with i oh, know probably i should take the sponge i'm gonna take the sponge my beauty blender it's still damp i'm gonna grab some i'm gonna press the excess off and press it into my skin Because I put like foundation over my eyes, I'm going to set that so that doesn't crease. Black Radiance Press Powder and Mahogany. I like something to hug my contour. But not like overdo it. And so I have like the smallest amount. I'm basically going in a circle. And all the places that I put my contour my cream contour, I'm going there. Yep, I'm gonna chisel out my cheekbones. So if you ever want it to appear like you have a bigger, fuller bottom lip, I mean, my bottom lip is already full. My top lip is a little bit smaller than my bottom lip. Just um, take a real small brush, if I have one. This will do. So take a small, like, contour brush, something real small. Take a little bit of your contour powder and go underneath your bottom lip and it'll kind of contour your bottom lip and get it that 
illusion that you have a big bottom lip. And I like to do my cupid's bow because it gets like undefined when I put on all this powder and stuff. See that? That's it for that. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and buff in all the powder. What do I look like? Nobody's ghost. Marry it all together. Blend. 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 I like to contour my nose last because after I blend everything together, it don't stay. But I'm going to take the Laura Mercier and is this medium deep? Medium deep. And then just, okay, I was about to spill it. <laughs> and then I'm going to go all over my face and just set my face. Give myself a more airbrushed type of type of finish oh yes <laughs> look at me <laughs> and my color so if you ever feel like oh your makeup is too light for your body or whatever the case may be or somebody else feels like your makeup is too light for you then just go in with a powder that is your shade and buff it out and then you'll be fine and i'll obviously use um a setting spray which is what i'm going to do now to help it all mirror and you look, oh, snap. I see that skin. It looks like skin. If you didn't just watch me do this. go for so it looks like skin but I look like one consistent color versus like my forehead's like naturally darker than I don't know what that's about but hey but I look like one consistent color and it looks flawless to me I like it this is my steez <laughs> I should take pictures Okay, because I feel like I look like like a blessing. I look like a blessing. That's what I feel like I look like right now. But um, this is all for my like flawless face. If you guys like this video, hope you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Um, get it. So I'll see you guys in my next one.